Good morning, ESM. I'm Owen. And I'm Soph. We did some uh, ice skate. We did some ice skating uh, over uh, break and some other stuff. More after news and announcements. Researchers from Oregon State University published a study suggesting marijuana compounds known as hemp can prevent COVID from entering human cells. Richard Van Bremen is the lead researcher at Oregon State's Global Hemp Innovation Center, College of Pharmacy, and Linus Pauling Institute. He says hemp compounds known as cannabis, stevia, are source of animal feed, fiber, fiber, and food. Hemp is also used in body lotions, cosmetics, dietary supplements, and food. In an OSU press release, the team of researchers found a way of blocking the coronavirus and from infecting people when cannabinoid acids bind to spike proteins of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. And our research showed hemp compounds were equally effective against variants of SARS-CoV-2, including variant B117-alpha, which was first detected in the United Kingdom, and variant B1.351-beta, first detected in South Africa, says Van Bremen. 25-year-old teacher An Ka got arrested for sending sexually explicit text messages to their 14-year-old student. Ka got charged with first-degree disseminating and decent material to a minor. It's a great de in in incident, and he could get up to seven years of prison. Jamie Alicia, the superintendent of the district, says the district's primary concern remains the health and safety of all members of our community. The district has staff available for student counseling as needed. We encourage students to reach out to trust adults if they would like support. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In announcements this morning, the Herf Jones representative will be here Wednesday, January 19th during lunches to take orders for Captain Gowns. Deadline to order is January 31st. Please see Ms. Recor in the welcome booth if you have any questions or read the or need the graduation packet. Oh, there was only one. Alrighty, so we have a clip of uh, something. Something. If it was going away, you're gonna oh, shatter it. You know, I can record it too if you go That's down. There. We go down together. She, she, she couldn't be there. Um, yes. There was mob when we went. There, there was, was so many people. There was a lot of people. There was a lot of people. Uh, Thursday, Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday, I think. This is the 23rd. Yeah. yeah. I think it was like two days before Christmas. Hopefully no, the audio. Two days after Christmas. Look at the tree. Oh, oh so the tree is red. <laughs> this was so Oh my god, I look. Oh. Look at beautiful. There's me. Oh, look at that. Today we'll have a high of 25 with mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow will be even colder with a high of 5 and a low of negative 10. Sunday will warm back up into the 20s with mixed sun and clouds. The rest of the week is going to be mostly snowy with highs in the 20s and 30s. I'm Gabby with your weather. Where is there a Denny's that's open? Our first follow of the day. There's Chris is going. He's There's, so over. There's Chris Man, going. Just let me die. Hello. <laughs> Bro, I just. <laughs> Chris is killing it. Give me the Chris is winning. The number one tennis player in the world, Novak Djokovic, has been deported out of Australia after the Australia's immigration minister said it was 
in the public's interest to do so. Djokovic had a temporary exemption due to Australia's COVID-19 regulations to play in the Australian Open as he was not vaccinated. He was going to defend his Australian championship. Djokovic has won nine out of his 20 Grand Slam titles at the Open. Last night, the girls' volleyball team beat RFA 3-2. Laura Sinek had 12 kills and 17 digs and 5 aces. Natalie Peterson had 29 assists and Morgan Ransom had 18 digs. Aquata Kwani had 8 kills and 2 blocks. And both Margaret Madeling and Emily Rename each had 7 kills. Boys basketball lost to Central Square 55-54. to AJ Graham contributed the most, scoring 19 points with Tristan Henderson close behind, scoring 10. The girls' basketball team beat Central Square 59-46. Nia Joan led the team with 23 points, and that consisted of four three-pointers. Isabel Chevesy had 14 points with seven two-pointers on the night, and Angelina Paul Carroll had 12 points. The wrestling team won against Oswego yesterday 40-33. Von Ladley, Brandon Sweisler, and Charlie English all won their matches. Max Wonderlich, Payne Spencer, Caden Scott, and Damian Murray all contributed the points to the win. Tomorrow is the... NFL Wild Card Week, and it kicks off to see who the Spartan News Sports Crew picked go for the games. Go to at ESM Morning Show on Twitter. Unlike them, I didn't go ice skating over break, but uh, went to the Dukes Mail Bowl and upcoming games. The boys and girls bowling have a match at home against Fulton at 3.30. Ice hockey plays at home against Liverpool at 5.15. Tomorrow, the wrestling team has a match at FM at 8. Boys and girls track me have a have a track me at SRC Arena at nine. Girls basketball plays at home against Hanegar at one, and boys basketball plays at home against Bevel at three. And I'm Tanner with your sports. All right, so to wrap up the show, we're just gonna let you guys know on some things we did over break. I went shopping and I went to go see movies with Chris. Uh, I worked way too much. I uh, did a bunch of skiing. There'll probably be a show on that at some point. I don't know. I, uh, I slept and I saw a couple movies with my family. I retrieved Amelia Earhart's lost plane from the Atlantic Ocean. And I went to the gym and went out to breakfast. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>